and welcome back to Broward College. We are all so thrilled that you are coming back and that um, we are going to get classes started even if it's in a remote learning environment. Uh, this is going to be a trying time for all of us so this first week let's all just be patient with each other and um, I know that your faculty are working really, really hard to make sure that your classes are going to finish and that you will be successful in the process. So we are here for you as faculty or as your professors. Be sure to reach out if you have any questions or need anything. So I am going, I am creating this video for students to uh, tour around Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, most of the faculty at Broward College will be using this as their course delivery method. It is already within your D2L course shell and the faculty have been working really hard all week to make sure that you can access what you need. So I'm going to enter into my class here. This is my um, awesome biology major students. And I have a little, uh, video here, but I'm going to show you guys how to access uh, Blackboard Collaborate. Now, different faculty or different professors are doing this in different ways. So I'd just like to show you the two different ways I know of that most professors are doing this. So first we start with communication. You select the communication tool, and if you look at the bottom of this drop-down menu, it says Blackboard Collaborate. You then click on Blackboard Collaborate, and it will take you to um, the Blackboard session room for your lectures. Now, most faculty will have scheduled lectures. You'll see multiple lectures scheduled here. You will, these are all rooms, and you will click on the room for the, uh, for the lecture that you will be attending that week. I'm sure that your professor is going to uh, tell you how those are going to be labeled and what they will say. Another way that this is going to happen, or that some faculty have done this, is through the content tool. So go to content. I'm sure that many of your course shells are going to have some new content in them. And they will have Blackboard Collaborate embedded there for you. So I already use this with my uh, students. So it'll say Blackboard Collaborate or office hours or uh, lecture. It'll have something here. And you just click on that and it will take you to the same place. Once you have reached the session room, you select the lecture that you're going to enter. I'm just going to go into this open room here. And on the right, you'll have a pop-up window. You just say join course room. As a student, once you are in the course room, it'll automatically generate your name as long as you are logging in through D2L. If your instructor has sent you a link and you log in outside of D2L, you will have to put your name in. Be sure to use your full name so the instructor can have you on the roster. On the bottom right is a tool panel that you'll be using to interact. In this tool panel, you have a chat room, you have a list of everybody that is, that is attending, you have some settings over here, and if you are made a presenter in the class, you'll have some share content tools as well. Some of your professors may want you to uh, check your settings. So here is where you can check your speaker volume. You can set up your camera or video, uh, your video camera if you need to, and your microphone, uh, all of that. I'm not going to test that right now. Yes, it's working. Uh, also in here, you can change your icon. It's a good idea to um, put your face up there so your professor can see you or, or something. Just put something up there so it's not just a silhouette. Just makes it a little friendlier and a little, kind, little kinder for everyone. In the chat room, you can ask your professor a question. You can say hello. There we go. Hi, everyone. And it will pop up here. And your professor may answer questions for you here. You may take a quiz or, or some kind of poll or something. And all of those sorts of things will pop up in here. At the bottom of your screen are your controls. This control right here under my status and settings, you can tell your professor that you have to step away for a minute. You can leave your feelings, which will put your feelings next to your name in the roster tool. Uh, sometimes your pre professor may kind of pull you guys and say, hey, what do you think? Do you agree or do you disagree? And when you agree, it will also show up next to your name here, and this will give the professor an idea of who agrees or disagrees. Maybe part of the lecture. You can give, uh, say, maybe you're confused. If you're confused, the professor might see that and be able to answer a question or stop and ensure that you um, understand what they're talking about. 
When you're ready to leave, you can leave the session through this button right here. Um, your professor may want you to mute your microphone. If you're going to be speaking, you have to unmute the microphone, and as long as the microphone is green, everyone should be able to hear you. When you're done speaking, it's important to mute the microphone again so that there's no background interference. If you're using the camera, you would simply share your video um, and that would turn green as well. You may just leave your microphone off and your professor may ask you to just raise your hand. You can raise your hand this way and it will send a little pop-up window to the instructor that you are asking a question. The professor will lower the hand or you can lower it when you're done with your question. When you're done with your session, you certainly want to come up here and to the right, click leave session. Go ahead and rate the session. And you're done with lecture. Some professors may be recording their lectures uh, uh, and they will provide you links to those recordings in D2L. Be sure to close the tab since uh, Collaborate opens in a new tab. So you just click the tab to close and you're all set. Just a quick reminder, make sure that you are uh, using Chrome. It is very important to use Chrome. This gives you the, the greatest experience. You'll also, if you're going to be asked by your professor to share things, you'll really only be able to do that um, in Chrome. So be sure to download the Chrome browser and have a great semester. They've worked real hard to get this going for you. So I'm sure everybody's gonna be awesome. Have a good one.